Okay. For me, it's about hmm, 5.53 in the afternoon or evening, if you want to say. And this is one of my Bluetooth speakers. Of course, you can see some herbs in the background. Wait a minute, if you turn it pan over here, there's an onion and some... That's right. And over here, yeah, yeah. So obviously, you know, we got some uh, stuff on the table here, <laughs> along with my Bluetooth speaker. So a um, little lemons over here, a little, little bit of that, da -da, whatever, you know. But nonetheless, you don't want to hear about the, the fruits and vegetables. You just want to see this radio or this speaker, this Bluetooth speaker, which I appreciate. Well, I built this one uh, some time ago um, or maybe a few months back. And I decided uh, at this particular point, I'll just go on ahead. I'm a little bored. I'll put it on YouTube, see what you all think about it. Uh, basically, it's um, really some people might say a 2.3 or what have you. But basically, you have two full, way, uh, full uh, range drivers on top and then you have one mid range in the middle. Um, basically, I've been kind of inspired by Modine. Um, he, of course, builds a lot of these uh, Pelican case uh, Bluetooth speakers. As a matter of fact, the one that I built is nothing like the ones that Modine builds. But nonetheless, I just want to put a little shout out to Modine for uh, inspiring me to, to put together one of these uh, speakers like this, this particular one. Um, you'll notice on the side, like there's a couple of things I got going. I'm still working on some of it, but if you notice on the side here, there's a some areas on here that I put where you can actually plug in your your five volt module. And what I wanted to do was make sure that you could see the voltage. So if you look on there right now, you see like 11.8 uh, volts. That's DC. Uh, then at the bottom, of course. Um, gives us another option for some uh, power output so you can you can certainly um, power up your phones and things of that nature and that's something I think a lot of us really appreciate today you also if you take note right there you'll notice that I put uh, uh, basically what comes to be like a plasti dip on the external uh, part of this box so it was originally black and sometimes when you when you build these boxes, and, and no doubt others can tell you as well, uh, you might get little blemishes and things of that nature. And so one way that I figured that I could kind of cover up any little blemishes is by putting a Plasti Dip on it. And also this one happens to be sort of a, a gray um, color. And so gray is actually just happens to be one of my favorite colors. So I wanted to do that. Um, if you open up the box, see the power is on top, so power switch on top. Um, but if you open up the box, and I'll open up the box briefly. Matter of fact, some of this stuff uh, that I'm using is uh, Parts Express. So some of the drivers, the drivers that I've been using, uh, Parts Express uh, stuff. So I'm going to just put a little shout out to Parts Express in a sense for that. Um, the amplifier is actually one that can be found on... Amazon and supposed to kick out I want to say about a uh, hundred watts supposedly but that also depends on how much how many volts that you're uh, pushing into the box right now I'm not using any uh, power converters of any nature Matter of fact that little thing is actually coming down okay uh, but what you'll see though is I'm I'm using a 12 volt lithium ion battery pack. I've been using these on uh, all of my builds really, and of course on the back there, if you look at the back, you can see a couple of uh, passive radiators. So I want to say there are five inch five inch passive radiators on the back of there, two of them, and the speakers are wired in series. So you see how I wired those three speakers in series. So I'm not using any crossovers on this particular box. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, I didn't isolate any of the <clears throat> drivers themselves, which is something that you can do. Uh, one of the reasons why I didn't bother to isolate these 
is because it sounds okay the way it is, and basically uh, you're getting the push of those passive radiators to help build on the sound that's coming out of the box. It's not always the ideal way to do it. You can do uh, different things. It just depends on your taste or acquisition of what you uh, want to get out of your box or your Bluetooth speaker. So this is just some of the things that are going on in this speaker box. Um, matter of fact, the box itself I got from uh, Harbor Freight. Um, it's, uh, they're relatively inexpensive. I think I want to say I paid like maybe about 29 bucks, so 30 bucks for this particular um, Pelican style uh, box. Didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, but I wanted something that was that was nice looking, and so that's what I went with this. Um, not bad. Now what I'll do, just you can hear there's a little bit of a, a little hum in the back. It's kind of hard to get rid of that sound for some reason, because um, I did put sound isolators on here to mitigate some of the uh, sound that was coming out of this box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can just play a little bit of music so you just kind of get an appreciation of how this sounds. A lot of people would tell you use uh, a pair of, uh, decent pair of uh, sound isolating headphones or something to that nature. But, uh, you know, it just all depends on what you want to do, uh, really. But, uh, so I'm just going to play just a little bit of a, um, just a, a bit of a, a song uh, here, uh, just a little sample, just so you can kind of get an appreciation of what the thing sounds like. Wait a minute. I'm connected to something and it's not my speaker. Wait a minute, hang on. So let me do this, because sometimes what I'll do is I may mess with this thing. Okay, well, I'm not getting any any connection on my phone. I thought I had connected to this thing, but uh, it didn't work out. So, so I'm a, I'm just gonna stop it. So it didn't it didn't connect to it. Right now, what I'll do is uh, maybe later on I can actually reconnect and get some sound out of that. And um, but I was trying to use a different device. Uh, and this device is just, you know, didn't connect. It connected to something. I don't know what it connected to, but it seemed, it seemed like it connected to something, but it didn't connect to my speaker. Um, so, but maybe later on, you get a chance to kind of check that out. But this, I just want you to be, basically get an idea, see what was going on. Uh, on this side, I didn't show you this side, but on this side, I have another Bluetooth uh, decoder board, what have you. Um, this one is not really wired in. Uh, the way I wanted it yet because uh, one of the modules that I wanted to get um, from Amazon wasn't available. It just it just uh, happens that right around the time that this pandemic uh, came about, um, it kind of stopped everything from coming in overseas, and no doubt the the module was probably from China or uh, Taiwan or one of those places. Uh, in which a lot of these modules do come from. Beautiful module though, and I have tried it before on something else. It sounds good, it has a lot of uh, features that I really appreciate, and that's why I wanted to use it. Um, so I'm still working on this box, but it does sound pretty good. It has a nice punchy, uh, bassy sound to it. Matter of fact, when it's sitting on a um, surface such as the one that it's sitting on right now, when it's playing, you can feel the vibration. You know, like people say, feel the bass. Oh yeah, you can feel the bass, most certainly. So I just wanted to share this with you all. I know it's a little bit long. I know uh, the table looks a little bit messy and things of that nature, but I figured, you know, with um, the way things are right now, a lot of us are kind of bored and we're looking for something. We're searching YouTube, we're doing whatever. And uh, so thus, even just being <laughs> amused by uh, this guy's Bluetooth speaker that he couldn't connect to the one particular phone uh, for some reason. But I'm going to redo another video. I'll do another video in which um, I'll actually 
make sure that the thing is connecting before I turn on the uh, the, the the module. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what what happened with this thing, but nonetheless, I I just wanted to give you all a, a little insight to to this thing and really appreciate your time. Thank you.